In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at how you can set a SQL query expression on a label class. And what this will do is it will limit the features that are going to be labeled. So by default, if you don't set a SQL query expression, uh, in theory, every feature will be labeled. Now that's not going to be the case because there can be conflict between features and labels. And of course, you know, if you're dealing with polygon layers, uh, if the label doesn't fit within the polygon, then it won't be uh, placed. So, you know, there's other reasons why a label wouldn't be placed on a polygon. Um, but there may be times when you just want to flat out limit the features that are going to be labeled. And you can do that using a SQL query. Um, and again, we're going to be focusing on the parcel layer to do this. Um, and uh, with this selected, then we can go to the labeling tab on the feature layer context menu. And if you look over under class, uh, there's a little SQL button just on the right hand side of the class, the label class that's being used. This is the SQL query button. Uh, if you click this button, that will bring up the label class uh, pane with the SQL button initiated. The first thing you'll need to do here is to create a new expression. And then from there, you can simply define whatever expression you want to use. And so what this will do is um, this will limit the uh, features that are labeled to only those features that match this query. And what we want to do here, we're focusing in on the parcel layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a, uh, a query of, let's just do a market value greater than or equal to 1 million. All right, once you've got uh, your query selected here, you can also see the SQL here if you want to look at the actual SQL that was used to generate that. And here's your SQL. You can turn that on or off as needed. Uh, and then from there, you'll hit apply. And you'll notice that some of these features that were labeled before are no longer being labeled. And that's because those features, right, those parcels, the, the market value is less than 1 million. We're only looking to, to label features where the, the market value is greater than 1 million, right? So some of these larger properties then will continue to be labeled, whereas the smaller properties will not be labeled anymore, right? And so there's different reasons why you might want to do something like this. Um, but in this case, you know, all, what we're looking to do is limit uh, the features that are labeled so that we're just focusing in primarily on those larger land parcels that we want to, to visualize for, for whatever reason. All right, that's it for this time. Thank you for